Please note that we do not represent law enforcement or the Department of Transportation and therefore are not authorized to speak on their behalf. While we are sharing this information based on our extensive experience spanning several decades, it is still your responsibility to verify this information with the appropriate authorities before making your purchase decision. In this video, we are going to be discussing the topic of whether or not you need a CDL driver's license in order to tow the trailer that you plan to purchase. We will also discuss what solutions there are if you are required to get a CDL but would prefer not to. It all boils down to the GVWR of your towing vehicle, that stands for the Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, and the GVWR of your trailer. For the remainder of this video, we will refer to GVWR simply as GVW to make it easier. Let's begin by looking at the GVW of your trailer. If the GVW of your trailer itself is less than 10,001 pounds, let's say for example that the GVW of your trailer was 9,990 pounds, in this case, you would not be required to have a CDL license because the GVW of the trailer is less than 10,001 pounds. Now let's make another example. Let's say in this example that the GVW of your trailer was now 12,000 pounds. Would this mean that you are now automatically required to get a CDL? No, it does not. Just because your trailer is over 10,001 pounds does not automatically mean that you're required to have a CDL. And this is where the GVW of your towing vehicle actually comes into play. Let us say in this example that the GVW of the vehicle is also 12,000 pounds. So the GVW of the truck is 12,000 and the GVW of the trailer is 12,000. The next step to determine if you need a CDL is to calculate the GCWR. This stands for the Gross Combined Weight Rating. To get the Gross Combined Weight Rating, we simply add the GVW of the truck and the GVW of the trailer together. So in this example, 12,000 pounds plus 12,000 pounds gives us a GCWR of 24,000 pounds total. And here's the rule. If your GCWR is greater than 26,000 pounds, then you do need a CDL license. On the other hand, if your GCWR is less than 26,000 pounds, then you do not need a CDL. In our example, the GCWR was 24,000 pounds. This is less than 26,000 pounds, therefore in this case, no CDL would be required. When explaining this, very often at this point, someone will say something like, well, what if I don't have the trailer fully loaded? Or, yeah, but the empty weight of my trailer is much less than the GVW. Unfortunately, this doesn't change anything because the empty weight or the amount of weight in your actual load is not a part of the equation. This is because neither the load nor the empty weight changes the GVW of the trailer. And in the end, the equation to determine if you need a CDL or not is if your GCWR gross combined weight rating is greater than 26,000 pounds, then you do need a CDL. And if it's less than 26,000 pounds, you don't. If you do determine that you need a CDL, then you may be wondering what class you need. There is a Class A, Class B, and Class C. The answer to this is Class A. A Class B or C will not be sufficient in order to tow a truck and trailer with a GCW of over 26,000 pounds. Finally, if you determine that you need a CDL but would prefer not to get one, then our trailer specialist can assist you in having your trailer derated. Derating a trailer is the process of working with the manufacturer to have the GVW of your trailer lowered. This will allow you to get the trailer that you want while at the same time keeping under the 26,000 pound threshold. 